Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome to this video on the Golden Tee 2020 upright cabinet. Now, I always thought this cabinet was pretty interesting because there hasn't been a whole lot of information on the web about it. Most of them are just stock photos. I haven't been able to find any videos on it. But um, overall it had everything that I wanted. Um, but for most of you, uh, from the feedback I've heard, uh, m this is probably a niche product. Um, because it is kind of expensive and it has less features than the home uh, live version. But um, I thought I'd start out real quick uh, to explain why um, I got it and then you might be wondering why we have a Golden Tee Classic here. Well, my first um, introduction to Golden Tee was with this uh, cabinet. And what I like about it is it's pick up and play. You uh, launch it, you can start a game really simple, you know, um, and, and you begin playing, you know, right off the bat. So, um, so that's kind of been my first experience with Golden Tee. Now, if you play Golden Tee Mobile or any of the live versions um, from 2006 and on, you know, they start to have more online features and contests and you know, uh, different types of clubs and balls and all kinds of, you know, different things. Um, and I even play the mobile version on my um, At Games Legends Ultimate Upright. I have it set up with a Android emulator and, you know, I play the mobile version on there. But, uh, first of all, I'm not very good at any of the uh, Golden Tees. So I like playing locally and having a local gameplay. The other thing that was a factor for me is I didn't like the pedestal. They, they they went from a cabinet form, an upright cabinet form, Watch to a uh, pedestal. So I really wanted the twenty, you know, the Golden Tee 2020 because I've been having a ton of fun with the Golden Tee Classic. Um, I've played the emulation of some of the um, like Golden Tee 4 Complete. I like those, uh, but the newer ones, um, I just didn't like that pedestal, and I wasn't really a fan of the online features. So I found this cabinet, um, which I'll show you here in a second which is the Fun Company um, proprietary model. Now what they do is it's, adver when I first bought it, I actually didn't know what I was buying because it was advertised as Golden Tea, Watch your time. Golden Tea Home Unplugged Offline Edition. And, you know, and uh, on the different social media platforms, everyone's saying, you know, there's no offline version of Home. So it turns out what they did was, is they used the commercial and unregistered um, commercial cabinet that you would have see at your local bars and they take out the components and build put it into their proprietary cab and then um, basically um, have it for local gameplay. So one of the other uh, features is that I wanted was to have it kind of more of an arcade you know where you have to put in money so just like on this one you have to start and put some coins if you don't have enough so um, by default, when you when it ships to you, it is set up as free play. But I set up for money, and then added a coin door uh, button. I had some extras from my arcade one up, and so I did uh, add that as a temporary thing. I'm actually going to put a bill acceptor in there, um, just for fun, um, for something different. But uh, that's the cool thing is you can accept quarters or dollar bills or you know currency, and um, still. Uh, play offline locally. So, so without further ado, let's look at this new cab. All right, so here it is in all its glory. It's basically an upright cabinet. Um, it's if you're used to the pedals still or the others, you'll notice like uh, the arcade one-up machine here. How these are flat. This is actually at a pretty uh, extreme angle. Um, I don't. I haven't measured. It. I don't know exactly what angle it's at. Maybe. 45 degrees ish. Um, it's actually tilted more than my actual pinball machine um, as far as the slant goes. But the per so that comes this way and then the screen goes out that way. So the whole idea is instead of you pushing forward, you know, going into the screen, you're uh, naturally going to be going from top or from bottom to top when you roll or top to bottom for your backswing. So it's uh, you pretty much never have to worry about hitting. Uh, the screen. This particular unit here is the uh, 27 inch. They do have a 32 inch, but with my limited space, um, this is all I could fit. And 
uh, like I said, you can see it, it fits in nicely with the um, Arcade 1-Ups. Um, it, did, it did come with a, a card reader. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's a card reader on there and a coin door. Also came with this uh, digital box. Um, when I contacted um, Incredible Technologies about potentially upgrading this thing, the only way that I can do that is um, to convert it from the commercial to a home edition and they'll send you a chip, you put in the new chip and a USB software to convert it. But the thing is once you convert it, you can't go back. So I'm probably just going to keep this as um, an offline uh, commercial. And like I say, it's uh, I have it set up for 25 cents per hole. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. All right, never a dull moment. You can see why it's been a while since I posted a video. Um, very busy, but uh, it, can, it came with some uh, like a quick install guide. Um, it was it was already pre-built, um, but it came with all the original documentation, including the showpiece and installation kit guide. And by looking at this, this is when I realized, oh, I can um, add a um, coin button because I had some extras from a pack I got for uh, this one. So I added that down there, and so if you push it, like right now it shows there's $22 in there, and if I push this, now it's $225. for a little golden tea. You know, you can, so now there's $24, so, um, but just like with the regular uh, Golden Tea Classic, this is what I'm talking about, you can just go right in. and Peter at Lake Powell. This should be a great round of golf today. So, and the only addition is you can choose the male or female, um, and then, you know, you know, begin your gameplay, just like before. So, uh, so that's kind of the main reason why I got it. Um, trying to think, um, everything, you know, plays the same. This, this one is a little bit narrower, like I say, than the 32, and it weighs about... Uh, I believe it was 220 pounds or so, um, but it does have wheels. It pushes really nicely, and then I will show you some um, pictures from inside the cab. All right, so this is the cabinet when I got it off the pallet and out of the cardboard box when it was just sitting there in the garage, and that's also the original coin door there. It wasn't actually functional. And then when you open the top, these are where your um, the hat. Uh, trackball is and the buttons and the main computer there then you have the control board that uh, connects everything um, the card reader there is USB to the actual main computer and I should have taken a picture before because um, the wiring there is after I modified it so I don't have the original before I modified it, it modified it Blech. can't talk and this is the back of the monitor it's a BenQ monitor Not nothing too fancy there and then this is the power strip behind it in the corner that everything else plugs into so again I just thought I'd just uh, show off this cab because I haven't been able to find you know any actual videos of it out there and um, for me it's uh, exactly what I wanted it's a uh, the same type of experience and gameplay from the Golden Tee Classic you can just pick up and play put in your coins uh, it's not in the pedestal format, obviously, I like the upright uh, version, and uh, it has a HAP controller, or trackball. But again, you are paying for a uh, premium, you're paying for this proprietary cabinet, so if you're a builder, it may not be a, as good of a value for you, but I can't, I mean, I can do all the wiring, you know, I, I did all the, you know, set up the coin door and things like that, but when it comes to cutting wood, I can't cut a straight line to save my life, so... So to me, this was nice um, to have everything you know ready to go, and then you can modify and tweak it um, as need be. So uh, if you have any questions on it, let me know. Again, the majority of people think this is uh, number one too expensive, and you're getting less features if you like the home. Because if you do like um, you know the online contest, playing for money, and things like that. Um, you would have to upgrade this to the home edition or convert it from the commercial to the home edition and uh, that's just not something like I say I, I play the um, the mobile version online and do some of the contests and stuff but that's just not 
uh, maybe if I was good at it, it would be more fun, but I'm not. I just like um, challenging myself and anybody that comes over to actually play the unit. So, so I guess that's kind of more my use case. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but, um, but it, again, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. That's a nice shot indeed. Ball for one on the green. She'll be lucky to make contact from this line. T shot of golfer one. <laughs> golfer one trying for birdie. <laughs> golfer one open to solve his car. Golfer one on tee.